My name is uh, Martin Padilla, and I come from Guadalajara, Jalisco. I've been in the U.S. for about 11 years, and I'm, it's a fact I'm very proud of. You know, for, for us as immigrants, you know, we feel like we're part of the economy. You know, we're not criminals or murderers. And, you know, we, we want an immigration reform uh, because, you know, we are in the United States, uh, and it's difficult to, to maintain a life living in Mexico. Quite often, we would only earn maybe $5 a day, and you can't support a family on that. So it's not easy. You know, I've been working since I was eight years old. I was, you know, working in like a, a company that, that, that made clothing for, you know, for uh, outlet stores. And after that, <coughs> I, you know, I worked in other places, and I even became <coughs> like a manager in one of these stores uh, that was located in, in Guadalajara. And then after that, I worked in another factory, and eventually my, my wife, uh, she graduated from college uh, to become a nurse, but, but she couldn't find a job, so she had to pay to try to find work. One of the other obstacles that, that we face is just sort of the racism that, uh, of people who kind of stand in, stand in our way and, and you know, makes things harder for us. You know, we, we all pay bills, we pay taxes, you know, we pay rent, you know, everything. Uh, and so now I guess I, I, have, I, have a, I can have a question for all of you. I mean, why, why doesn't the government renew our license? Uh, you know, what are we going to do if we, can't, if we can't maintain our families, you know? We have to change the system. I mean, how are we going to support our families? Uh, you know, how are we going to get around every day, put food on the table? you know, pay rent. Uh, I mean, the, the money that we, that we make in the United States stays here in the U.S. I, you know, I've never used drugs. Um, instead, I've always looked for ways to help um, other immigrants, uh, whether it's uh, marches or, or providing uh, help to people who are trying to look for residents in the United States. You know, we're, we're here to, to answer any questions that, that people have, and, and we want to say that, you know, our hands are, we're in the hands of the government. And, you know, one of the things about coming here um, without permission, uh, it's sort of like, it's sort of like kind of like crossing a red light or a, a, a traffic light. Uh, so we're like at the intersection of a street. Uh, on one avenue, and if you try to cross at this intersection, you know it's it's like a you know violation, and sometimes you pay fifty dollars or hundred dollars for every ticket for every infraction. But you know, every time they charge us more and more. So how can they expect us to be able to provide food for our families, uh, shelter for our families? You know. Or just to have a roof over our heads. And, you know, just one other thing, that's the other price that we've had to pay that's very, very expensive. We've lost our families in Mexico, you know, in, including our parents and, and, and sometimes our children. And this is very, very difficult.